Hey guys, what's going on, Census here, and I read the comments from your, uh, your, what am I talking about? No, I read the comments from my last uh, video that I uploaded that you guys have said to me, and you guys have really given me some very positive feedback on whether if I should upload this gameplay or not, and uh, guys, every time you do, um, give me, um, positive feedback, positive constructive criticism, or constructive cr criticism in general, in which, um, how I can get better at doing whatever you're trying to tell me to get better at, so, yeah, it's, don't ever think that I don't ever appreciate it, because I always do, I always appreciate the positive support that you guys give me, and I will say it again, I will always appreciate that, and, yeah, so, so here's the gameplay that you guys have been wanting me to upload since, what, like, 24 hours ago from this time in which I'm commentating right now, but anyway, so, yeah, this is the game where I am facing the Market J and his crew and stuff, and let me guys give you the backstory of the gameplay and how, um, what was going on at the time, so, it, it was just me and a couple friends of mine, we were... Just trying to find the ground war lobby, just trying to have some fun, see if I can get gameplay or just a simple Moab, whatever. Um, yeah, just to have fun, but so we we're just finding the lobby, and then uh, we get thrown into this pregame lobby that was Sea Town Kill confirmed. The match was about to begin, and I know this in the lobby. I see the uh, clan tag, like XN, and I know this. Oh, hey, that's Marka J's clan. He. Uh, runs that and stuff, so at first I thought it was a fanboy who had the clan tag because I've seen a ton of other fanboys out there with, with the x -Sing clan tag and stuff, blah blah blah, so but then I looked down at every name in the lobby list, or the pregame lobby list what, whatever you want to call it, and then I eventually do see the Marky J and it was like, holy crap is that really him? And then I ended up checking his profile and uh, his friends list and that was the real Marky he had everyone added basically, including people like uh, Sandy Ravage, Dying Soldier, uh, the, those guys. But so my first thoughts at the begin at the beginning of the match was, wow, I'm I'm probably gonna get crushed right now because I'm when I was playing this game, I was basically playing by myself. I felt like I was alone, even though I did have two other people. The reason why I'm saying that I am playing alone is because of the fact that my teammates, uh, or my friends, uh, I should say, that I was playing with, uh, they were they were kind of just like any other randoms that I would see, well, skill-wise at least. If you want to judge them off of KD, like they both had one KDs exactly and stuff, and I mean, even though they are average players and stuff, they're still my friends, and yeah, what the point I'm trying to make is, like, basically I had randoms on my team, except there was and two of them, I guess you can say, were my friends, so, and I don't consider friends to be randoms, but I'm just saying that their skill level was the equivalent of randoms, but anyway, off of the random topic, so, and, uh, Oh, oh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, that's right. So yeah, when I was playing this game, I was I was actually well, actually no. Let me rephrase that. By the end of this game here, it was like wow, I did better than what I thought I was going to do. Like even though I still do lose, and there are moments if you are watching this gameplay where even though we're losing, we're pretty close to them. But then eventually at the end of the gameplay, we uh, they they kind of blow us out. The I think the final score was like we had 66 tags and they had all 90. We lost the game unfortunately, and you do see in this game that I I do try really hard and notice it in this gameplay in particular that I'm playing a little bit more passively than what I normally would. And the reason why I'm playing more passively in this game in particular is because of the fact that. Um, I consider this game to be a competitive match, you know, tryhards versus tryhards, and when you're in a match where it's tryhards versus tryhards, that's considered to be a competitive match, and yeah, so that, that's how I was, and the way I play during competitive matches is I play a little bit more passively, I mean, obviously you're seeing me, or yeah, you're seeing that I'm still moving around, but I play more passively, I'm not really as rush heavy, but, so, 
let me guys uh, give you my thoughts and opinions of the Mark J and what I've thought of him over the past year of me watching him. I really do think that he is a really spectacular player. Like at first, the first time I've watched him was during the Black Ops era, and I was watching him ever since he had like 20k subs, and uh, I've. And yeah, I've been watching his gameplays, and I thought he was a pretty spectacular player. And let me get into the subject of my main influences that have influenced my style, or my Call of Duty style, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the number one person, you guys already know that, is Sandy Ravage. I've been watching him since the Modern Warfare 2 days, and <clears throat> I thought he was a really amazing player. And... I watched him the most out of everyone. I even rewatched a lot of his old games and stuff. But anyway, the second main, or yeah, the second main influence, who or the second person, whatever, who has influenced my game style is um, Xcal. I watched a lot of his videos as well, and I thought he was a spectacular player as well. And then the Black Ops era came, and then uh, the third and final person here, who mainly influenced my style was the Market J and uh, and uh, I watched all three of these guys uh, mainly during the Black Ops era. I actually did only discover Sandy Ravage and Excal during the uh, late Modern Warfare 2 era actually and I actually started and I actually watched them more in Black Ops than I did in Modern Warfare 2 but but yeah those were my three influences of my game style and Sorry for the repeat right here, it's, I don't know, the way I recorded it, I accidentally repeat it and I forgot to cut it out, but anyway, so, yeah, I hope you guys really did enjoy this competitive match that I had with the Mark J and his crew right here, so, <coughs> the final score right here is 43 and 18, and you guys can see the rest, I'll talk to you, I'll talk to you later, peace out.